So today I wanted to look at another one of the new things added in the most recent update to the Hunter Classic, and that's the new models for the Waterfowl Blind. So I ran a poll on the community tab here on YouTube, and you guys voted for geese as the species we're actually going to hunt while doing this. So we're going to look at the new fall field uh, Waterfowl Blind and just go for a little bit of a goose hunt, see if we can get anything good. But I want to actually look at the old model first, and that is this. You can see just like the normal fall field camo, kind of the mesh up top. Not really anything special, and I believe this allowed three players and a dog inside, which is pretty decent, but this is the new one. So for starters, you can see there's actual like vegetation on the outside, which I really like. The inside is just kind of like normal camo, not really a big deal, but I love just the design they did. They have the top the tapers in, so it would hide you a lot better, like if you're kind of crouched down, uh, you'd be a lot more hidden. And I kind of like the weathering they did on the metal as well. Like all this looks really good. But this blind, I believe, allows four players and maybe two dogs. I don't remember uh, exactly what all is allowed in here, but it's bigger. There's a better capacity than the old blinds, and it just looks so much better, like so much more realistic. So I really like that, and yeah, I've got the new forest camo 12 gauge over and under, but the main shotgun I'm going to use is the engraved 10 gauge, just because the 10 gauge is completely overpowered, especially for geese. So we'll use that, but we're definitely going to use the 12 gauge as well. So yeah. We'll see if any big or rare geese can come in, but mainly I just want to enjoy this new blind because it looks really cool. And we got a flock coming in already, just a little flock, but they're coming in directly over. Now I talked about kind of like being more hidden while you're crouched, just like if you've never played classic or if you do play and you don't know, you don't have to be crouched in these blinds, it doesn't make a difference. Like you're still just as hidden if you're standing as if you're crouched or if you're prone, that part doesn't actually matter. But, like for people that want to have the realism stuff, I really think that is cool the way they designed it. But if we can get these guys to break, they're coming directly over us. Hopefully. If they want to. Maybe. Sometimes like switching back and forth between the long range collar and the flag collar works. But they broke. And kind of the way that I was taught to do this in classic is wait till they get sort of to their lowest point before you hit the short range collar and the short range collar is going to bring them like a lot closer to us so they should get a little lower like right before they start to try to land so probably now we'll hit that and bring them around that one goose on the bottom looks considerably bigger it's this guy so we're going to get him first don't know if he was actually big but maybe and that's those four. Not too bad. Nice little flock there. So I don't have my dog with me. And the reason is I attempted to do this a little bit earlier and none of the flocks were breaking. And I was afraid those ones weren't going to break either. What the heck? That's not the right thing. I thought I had my 22. But I have the 22 pistol instead. I wonder where those two geese came from. Maybe there was like another flock that I didn't hear. But yeah. Um, I might get the dog out later once we start getting a lot of geese down, but for now we're just going to run around and claim them real quick. I mainly want to get these four because I thought that one might have looked big, and I'm not really sure uh, if it was, but it was the one over on this side. So that one's not very big either. He's only 5.6 kilos. I thought it was actually that one. It could have been this one, I guess. Mm, definitely not. Alright, might have just been like the perspective, maybe he was down a little lower, but we'll hop back in and wait for the next block. Oh, I can't believe those broke and they did that weird glitch where they just landed immediately, uh, which I haven't seen in a long time, but we'll spot these, see if there's any that are especially big. We're looking for any that are up to 9 kilos and we'll speed this process up a little bit with the spotting scope. Not big. Not big. Maybe. And definitely not. Alright, so we know which one we're taking first for sure. Loading this is not a bad idea. We want to get that one. Maybe. <laughs> and that was actually a cool flying animation. I haven't used the 22 pistol for geese in a long time. I'm usually using like the 17. But I wanted to bring that uh, new 12 gauge as well, so I couldn't fit another like rifle-sized uh, weapon. But 
We got two, which I'll take that considering how far away that flock was. And this was just the random one, just a female. And I don't think this one went very far into the 8,000s on the estimate. He is 8.0, so he's a 7,954. I mean, that's pretty big. I guess we'll trophy shot it, but ideally you want to get them over 8,000. That's actually not bad, so it's off to the side a little bit. Uh, because of the chance that I might use that for a thumbnail and I have a plan for what I want to do. But, yeah. Decent goose anyway. It must be like behind the trees there. Yeah, now I'm starting to see them, but that was like a long wait in between flocks. So hopefully they're going to decide to cooperate because that is a big flock. And maybe, depending on how it goes, we'll get to use the 12 gauge on these ones because I do want to do that. But we'll do one more long range. Then we're going to switch to the flag try to get them to break that one. The front looks especially big, but I thought that on another block too, so that might not mean anything. Alright, he actually broke too, so let's not worry about getting the other ones to break. I think we'll have our hands full with what did break. And they're dropping really quick, so let's hit this. And still to me, he looks larger, so get him first. Wow. I tried to get like a double or a triple. And just didn't hit any. They're going to be kind of far. Alright. That was the biggest looking one that was left there. Don't know if I'm good enough to get that one. Eh. Not too bad. Especially for switching guns and losing a little bit of time there. And now I have no idea which one I thought was the big one. But we'll just kind of try to claim everything. Probably it was this one, and he's not special, so assuming that actually was the biggest one, I don't think any of these are going to be all that good. He's definitely nothing. And tiny little female, and then the one that I got with the 12 gauge uh, looked kind of biggish, but I didn't think he looked much bigger than the first one, so I don't know. Sometimes I can't tell anyway. Sometimes it's just better to spot them. But that's this one. And, I mean, it's bigger than all the other ones, but not anything uh, really worth talking about. And the one with the 22, of course, is the biggest one. <laughs> 7,500, so I should probably just start trying to shoot all the geese and not trying to pick out which one is the biggest, because clearly that's not working. Well, this dude's just wandering around out here. He's... Not even close to being very big, but let's see if we can just get him, because why not? It used to be a thing, or like a theory, that other animals around would actually cause geese to not spawn or whatever, so that might actually be useful. So, I don't know if it's related, but we have like the saddest flock of geese ever coming in right after we got the pheasant. The good thing is, assuming they actually break for us, uh, we can use the 12 gauge. Because we shouldn't at least need more than two shots. So now we got to wait till they float all the way past us. Because they broke really early. What the heck? What? One landed? I don't see it, but apparently there's one landed in the field. Anyway, let's worry about getting these first. Maybe we can get a double. I did a mission. Cool. I still don't see whatever Goose just called. That was weird. They can't call like that unless they're on the ground. I don't know what the heck that was. But, uh, I'm glad I did a mission anyway. We'll see what these two were, because, again, one of them looked big to me. Probably wasn't. Uh, let's hope it wasn't that one. <laughs> uh, well... One was considerably bigger anyway. But I think I want to wait for one more flock, hopefully. And then we'll probably be wrapping this up. Alright, they're not going directly over us, but it's pretty close. It's actually a good-sized flock, so... Maybe that'll be a little more interesting than just taking, like, two. I don't see any that are rares or anything, so hopefully they'll just cooperate. I think we got all but one to break there. I'll just flag once or twice. Honestly, six will probably be difficult enough to get, so 
we'll just try to worry about getting them. The other one can survive for today, but let's go ahead and short range call. I don't know why I even am going to say it, but <laughs> these two look big. Oh, missed that. I really wanted that double, and I missed it twice. And are we quick enough? Okay, had I reloaded that, I believe we could have gotten it. I just wanted to know what you were going to score. I'm out of ammo. Alright then. Well, that was a mistake on my part, because... 100%, we hit it once with the 12 gauge, and a second shot would have gotten it, but we got five of them, and again, I thought one of them might have been big. I am probably incorrect. I don't know why I keep getting weird lag running around here. Might be something with the decoys. They also look set up weirder than I remember them, but anyway. Uh, I don't know which was the other one I thought was big, because I think I missed it trying to get that double. Wait, I knew there was another one over here. It just wasn't letting up. That one's definitely nothing special, so unless it's one of these two. It wasn't anything uh, all that big in this flock. That one is 4.6. That's not going to be anything good. And the last one is a 4.3, so not special either. In case you're curious how I know, uh, it's just their weight in, like, grams, I guess. So... That's what I'm looking at, but at least we did get the one good goose, and honestly, I just wanted to show off the really nice models for these waterfowl blinds, because they look good. I liked how they, like, brushed them up. Uh, the new, like, general design with the tapering at the top and all that is good. That reminds me, I have a dead pheasant out here that we need to go get. But yeah, I really like them. I think I'm going to be doing a good bit more bird hunting. I need to get my 10 gauge up to 1,000 kills, because it's kind of close, and... I think three of the duck species I don't have a thousand of yet, so that can be something as well. But where was the pheasant? I know it was out here somewhere. Right there. We know he's not very big from the score estimate, but we'll take what we can get while we're out here. Definitely nothing uh, really worth looking at. 22. I think that was at least the upper end of the score estimate. But yeah, um, I decided not to talk about it during the video because I know a lot of you guys that like specifically play Classic like when it's just a classic video and not talking about Call of the Wild. But for those of you that play Call of the Wild, you can see the goose hunting in classic is so much better. Like, things actually work right. Uh, animations are a lot smoother, like turning and all that. I really do like the goose hunting in this game, so maybe we'll do more of that, especially with the new blinds. Maybe some kind of, like, multiplayer thing at some point, too. Get another one of those set up, I don't know. But for now, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.